Okay, in this video tutorial, I'm going to show you how to add follow-up messages to an already established campaign in your Get Response Auto Responder. And in another tutorial, I already showed you how to establish a new campaign. Well, in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to add your follow-up messages. The first thing you want to do is you want to go up here to Campaigns. You want to go to Select My Campaigns. And then from the menu, you want to choose the uh, mailing list or the autoresponder that you want to add your follow-up messages to. So let's say I want to add messages to uh, this sixth chapter autoresponder which I created previously. You click on you click on it, and uh, as you can see, it'll be right up here at the top and if you've already added some follow-up messages into that you would click on manage follow-up messages even if you haven't added any messages if you click on it it'll allow you to add your first message and then you just select create new message and you can choose to create your messages in plain text format or you can do it in HTML. Um, I think HTML has a higher uh, risk of being labeled as spam. So I usually do mine in plain text. Um, the great thing about Git Response is that they have a, a rating system that will rate your messages um, on how likely they are to be recognized as spam. Okay, so that'll allow you to. Uh, adjust your messages so that they aren't they don't look suspicious to the spam filters and then be tagged as spam even though they aren't but uh, just to play it safe I recommend you go with plain text messages and then click next step and here you have the wizard for creating your first campaign um, if you want to uh, acknowledge your reader by their name, Git Response, and every autoresponder has this, they use different characters for different autoresponder services. For Git Response, if you want to uh, say your prospect's name, which will be a variable, and, and Git Response will automatically insert their name in uh, based on that variable. So if you want to say their first name, you would do that with two brackets beginning you will enter first name and then you will enter two brackets closing so it'll be as follows and that's how it's done two brackets beginning first name two brackets closing you enter your subject line and then in the message you just enter your message right now we're in HTML mode uh, again you're going to have a higher spam recognition for this so if you don't want that you can easily switch over to plant and then it'll it'll prompt you uh, I always select convert my HTML enhanced message to the plain text format the great thing about the plain text um, format is that it has this recommended width here that allows you to keep your line the lines of your message within the recommended width because some email programs respond better to the shorter widths okay so once you have your message created you come down here and you can actually select some more options uh, if you have any links in there you can click track click throughs of your links that'll help you track how many people are uh, actually clicking on the links in the emails and I always select that and uh, then you can click add message to save your message and it'll give you a warning that you haven't tested your message after change uh, so if you want to te test it you can um, otherwise go ahead and click OK 
and your first message is saved. When you're ready to start your new message, you go up here to create new message and repeat the process.